Hey, come see us do stand-up comedy in Tempe, Arizona, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cincinnati, Lexington, Burbank, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. Here's what the Democrats used to say about voting machines. I continue to think that our voting machines are too vulnerable. Her researchers have repeatedly de- demonstrated that ballot recording machines and other voting systems are susceptible to tempering. Even hackers with limited prior knowledge, tools, and resources are able to breach voting machines in a matter of minutes. In 2018, electronic voting machines in Georgia and Texas deleted votes for certain candidates or switched votes from one candidate to another. The biggest seller of voting machines is doing something that violates Cybersecurity 101, directing that you install remote access software, which would make a machine like that, you know, a magnet for fraudsters and hackers. These voting machines can be hacked quite easily. You could easily hack into them. It makes it seem like all these states are doing different things, but in fact, three companies are controlling that. It is the individual voting machines that some pose that pose some of the greatest risk. There are a lot of states that are dealing with antiquated machines right, which are vulnerable to being hacked. Workers were able to easily hack into an electronic voting machine. It was possible to switch votes. 43% of American voters use voting machines that researchers have found have serious security flaws, including back doors. We know how vulnerable now our systems were. We know, I know that hackathon that took place last year where virtually every machine was broken into fairly quickly. I actually held a demonstration for my colleagues here at the Capitol um, where we brought in um, folks who before our eyes hacked election machines. Um, those that are not, those that are being used in many states. Aging systems also frequently rely on unsupported software like Windows XP and 2000 which may not receive regular security patches and are thus more vulnerable to the latest methods of cyber attack. In a close presidential election, they just need to hack one swing state, or maybe one or two, or maybe just a few counties in one swing state. I'm very concerned that you could have a hack that finally went through. So why do I show you this? Why, why would I show you this? Well, guess what's going on? Democrats sued Georgia Election Board over a new rule requiring hand counting of ballots. So those same people who you just saw for years scream about how easily hackable machines are don't want you to count those ballots by hand. The suit argues that the rule change, which has been met with bipartisan opposition, is unlawful and that it could cause chaos in the battleground state. Right, exactly. You know, it's the kind of chaos created by preventing digital tampering with election numbers. You know, that kind of chaos. What a serious threat that would be, especially if you are the one tampering with those numbers. Democrats want a judge to block the Georgia State Election Board's newly passed requirement for counties to hand count ballots cast on Election Day, arguing that the 11th hour move is unlawful and that it could cause chaos. Chaos. I mean, we might have an accurate ballot count and then all chaos. Would, you know, that kind of chaos. The board's controversial 3-2 to two vote this month changes the rules of the game in the ninth inning. What? And who said that? That was the Democratic National Committee and the Democratic Party of Georgia with support from Vice President Kamala Harris. In sum, the hand count rule is contrary to the election code. What? Isn't this sound crazy? This sounds crazy to me. It violates foundational limits on agencies that are intended to avoid precisely the scenario here, an unelected body unilaterally making significant changes to the law without notice or explanation. I can give you an explanation because it makes it more secure. To protect the sanctity of the state's laws. Oh, but not the sanctity of the vote, right? And to prevent election night chaos. This court should declare that the hand count rule ex- exceeds SCB statutory authority and enjoins that the rule for going to the move, which was approved by three board members 
who've been praised by former president. Oh, that's how NBC reports this. That's Trump. It's Trump. Trump. You, why can't you count him? Trump! It has faced bipartisan opposition because, yeah, both parties are bought by the establishment billionaires. Some of it from Georgia's Republican Secretary of State and Attorney General, who questioned the rule's legality. I'm going to guess that the Georgia Republican Secretary of State and Attorney General are corrupt. You ever think about that? I did. I just did. I'm pretty sure they are corrupt. The rule requires election workers to count the number of ballots. Not every vote on a, not every vote on the ballot. Not, not, you're not to count every vote. You just have to count the number of ballots. They're against that. Not every vote on the ballot cast on election day before they are before they are delivered to the county for counting and tabulation. Sparking concerns that it could it could unnecessarily delay the reporting of results. DNC acting co-executive director Monica Guardiola said in a statement, this rule is nothing more than a blatant attempt by Donald Trump and his MAGA lackeys on the Georgia State Election Board to cast doubt or elect. Everything's every everything I don't like is Trump. Harris principal deputy campaign manager Quentin Folk said, we agree with Georgia's Republican attorney general and secretary of state. This rule is unproductive and unlawful, and we are fighting it. Trump has repeatedly praised the three board members who passed the measure, saying they are pit bulls fighting for honesty, transparency, and victory. That's what it sounds like to me. You're against hand-counting ballots. Really? Somehow now that's bad. The suit is the second Democrats have filed against the board in recent weeks. In August, Democrats sued over new election rules supported by the three pro-Trump. Ma- they, 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 they can't help themselves. Uh, that critics say conflict with state law mandating certification of election results. The rules would allow county election board members to conduct reasonable inquiries before they sort of. Oh, you know, you certainly wouldn't want to have an inquiry. Especially if it's reasonable. Opponents argue those rules could cause chaos. Everything causes chaos that the establishment billionaires don't want. Everything. The last thing Democrats want is a reasonable inquiry into anything they're doing. Not just the election ballots, but where they're sending our tax dollars and virtually everything else down the list. How dare you inquire reasonably? How dare you be reasonable? Reasonable inquiry isn't defined. That's why they say it. That's why they say, well, you don't define what reasonable is. What's the what's the definition of is is allowing an individual board member to block certification for any reason? That case is set to go to trial before a Fulton County judge on Tuesday. So there you go. They don't even want you to, to count the ballots. They don't want you to have a reasonable inquiry. Be? Why would that be? Who does that favor? Why would that be? Hey, come see us do stand-up comedy in Tempe, Arizona, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cincinnati, Lexington, Burbank, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. (laughs) 